Is it not on? Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to Veritas Studios. I'm going to show you how I converted my Boss Katana combo into a separate head and cab. And this video also shows you how to just add a speaker output to a Boss Katana combo or a head output. The one thing you should be careful of, I've included a screenshot from Boss's website of the different ohms outputs, so the different ohms of the various combos. You shouldn't really plug it into a cab that has lower ohms than what it's designed for because it can draw too much power and cause problems. It's not m as much of a problem for a solid state amp like the Boss Katana. It's definitely a problem for a valve amp though, so I never do that with a valve amp. But it's just something I thought I'd include. So this is my video on converting a Boss Katana combo into a separate head and cab. This is my Boss Katana 1x12. It started off as a combo and all I've done is taken the head out, built a box for it and turned it into a separate cab. Why would you want to convert a combo into a separate head and cab? Or if I'm being honest, this video shows you how to just make a speaker out so it can do that. Well, a combo is about 320 I think and a head on its own is about 350. So it's cheaper to buy a combo. And with a combo you get well, effectively a free cone with it. So there's a 12 inch speaker cone inside this is the Katana 1x12. All I have done is put a new cable from the cone to a jack socket that I've put in here. I built a box for this and effectively put the existing lead, joined that to a jack socket on the back of this head, and then, well, this sits on there, and you put a lead between them, job done. So this is my bedroom amplifier, so I put headphones in it when I'm in the bedroom. I move it to the lounge. I can use it in here because Boss Katanas are really handy to have when there's a few of you in a room just because they're so easy to get a good sound out of. Every single thing that I've used, apart from the timber, I've got from Amazon, so I'll put links in the description. The main thing you'll need is these terminal connectors, and this set, I specifically sourced this set because it comes with all the right sizes to do all of this, and it's about nine quid or something. It's quite handy to have a set of these anyway. I've got tons of them, and this one just has everything you need. You will need to build a box, so I'll go through the sizes for a box. That's if you want to make it as a head, um, you'll need a couple of jack sockets just for connectors. If you're building a separate head, you'll need corner protectors, maybe a handle, some feet, again, all from Amazon. But if you just want to add a speaker out, all you need to do is remove the head, which is as simple as unplugging the two cables off of this, which join onto the cone. Obviously unplug the power. Uh, there's four screws that go into the back, two through the top, and then the head just slides out, it just gives you a bit more space. And there's these sort of hollow parts here, so I've just run a cable through here and fitted a jack socket for to use this as a cab. But you could fit another jack socket above it and have that as the output from your head, so you could leave it all in this combo and have it as a combo with a speaker out and just put a cable between these when you want to use it as a combo or send it to any cab you want. So it's really not difficult. And the reason I use these Telecaster jack sockets is because they're, they're small they're black, so it's sort of, you don't really notice it's there. I mean, it's more noticeable that part of the combo is missing. But these are really neat, and they're not an expensive thing to do. You do need a specific size drill bit to drill these, so I'll put a link to that in the description. Again, it's only about a fiver or something. But it's a really easy mod. The hardest part of all of this was building a box. So I'm gonna go through all of that, and I now have a Boss Katana amp head in this green container. That's quite cool, I've never had a green amp here before, I've never had a green cab either, in fairness, but it's just so much more suitable to my needs. So hopefully my video is helpful. Just one more thing to bear in mind when you're doing this, if you're plugging your katana head or your combo that's now got a speaker output into another cab, just make sure the ohms are compatible. I found on the Boss website this list of the outputs of all their heads and cabs, so that hopefully give you an idea of what to do. With the watts, it's not as important because as long as the watts of your cab is higher than the 100 watt or the 50 watt, depending on whichever katana you've got, you're never gonna really blow up one of those cones. But it's just with the ohms. If the ohms are too low on the cab, it could draw too much power from the head and damage it. So it looks like it's pretty safe to go eight ohms and upwards. I wouldn't, I'd kind of avoid four ohms unless you're using the 50 watt cab. Just something to be aware of. This is the amp head taken from a Boss Katana 100 watt combo. And this is pretty much the same thing that comes in a Boss Katana head. Incidentally, this is from the 100 watt Mark II. I'm converting this Boss Katana into an amp head to make it a bit more portable because this is my bedroom guitar. It's when I'm laying in bed, 
I plug into this and plug headphones in. It's got a really good headphone sound. I've already got a Boss Katana 100 in the studio. If there's two of us playing guitar, we do silent rehearsals. There's a whole video on that, so we put headphones on and rehearse that way. So it's nicer to have two of the same amp, just because quite a few of my mates have got Boss Katanas now, just because they just do so much. And if it's in a smaller enclosure, it will just be easier, in my opinion, to move between my upstairs setup to my downstairs setup, move it in the studio, other people's studio. I have to take just a head. You don't have to go to quite this extent if you don't want to. You could just fit a couple of jack sockets on the rear of a Boss Katana amp. I will show you how to fit one on the back of the cab that's left with the speaker. So it's effectively got an input for an amp head, uh, but you could just put one next to it and that could be the output from the speaker. So you could leave this in the original box as a combo and just have a lead going from the head to the cab. And if you don't want to use the cab that it's built into, run the lead to another cab. All it is, is one speaker cable. Red and black, positive and negative. Very easy. So you just clip that onto a jack socket. Job done. And I, I quite like these Telecaster jack sockets because, well, they're black, so it's not that noticeable. So it doesn't look like you've butchered your guitar amp. But they're just really neat, in my opinion. However, I have made an enclosure for the amp head. This is just MDF. Um, I will show you how I've made this box, but it's really not interesting. It's just a few pieces of timber glued together, painted, and then sprayed green. It's got this lovely removable grill. Whoop! Look at this. Well, it's not gonna be a remove, I'm gonna screw it in. But the reason I've done a grill on the front is there's this heat sink here on this amp. Let me show you. See this heat sink? That sits at the front of the amp. And I figure, well, if it's got a bit more airflow, it's never gonna overheat. So I've designed it so it's got a small gap underneath to let some airflow out. There are vents here on the back and I've just created a box which has the same shape notch for the front fell out. It's got the same shape notch as the Boss Katana. So this little head slides in here, job done. And then it's easy to fit. For this amp head box, you do need a few bits. For example, speaker grill cloth, feet, a handle, corner protectors and stuff like that, jack sockets. I'll put links to these Amazon links in the description. This is all bought from Amazon. I think it cost me about 50 quid, including the paint. To buy. I had all the timber anyway, not that it used much. Um, so it's not an expensive conversion. When we go through the electrics part for the jack sockets at the end of the video, I will show you a tool which adds, it's like a, a crimping tool. You can buy it again off Amazon. It comes with a load of parts so that this can be joined onto easily and made into a junction box. It just, you don't have to cut any wires from this Boss Katana. You don't ruin it in any way. You're just attaching this to something else and attaching something else to the cone. So you can just restore it to how it was originally. Very clever. For the amp head housing, I've effectively made a box which is off the top of my head, about 155 millimeters tall, 235 millimeters deep. I've actually made this 245 millimeters deep just because I want a bit more airflow in the front and I've fitted a front grill, I'll show you that later, and 520 millimeters wide. The reason it's 520 wide and 235 deep, that is the same size as the top of the Katana. So, boom, magic, looks cool. Obviously, this is a bit hollow at the moment, but we'll get there. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how I made this box because it is just a box. But the only thing to be aware of, the Katana amp head has all its controls on the top. So you need to cut a little notch out of it, which is what this little magic thing is. 380 millimeters wide, 60 millimeters deep. Uh, just thought I'd say this is made out of 80 mil MDF, 18 mil ply is fine. I've made them out of hardwood. I think 18 mil is three quarter inch, so Anything around that thickness, just make sure it fits at every step of the way, especially before you spray it. With my one, I've made this little wooden framework, put a bit of speaker grill cloth in, and that's gonna sit in the front. I will screw it from the inside. The reason I did that is just because I thought it would look kind of cool, but also it gets a lot more airflow because if you look at this, it's got a big heat sink on the back say on the back, that'll be at the front where this grill is. So I figured more cold air, not that it's gonna overheat, it's not like it's a valve amp or anything, but you don't want it overheating anyway. There's a couple of grills on the rear of the unit and a couple on the bottom. So these ones will always be exposed, but the ones on the bottom, just make sure there's a bit of an air gap within the amp head that you make just to let the air flow. Otherwise, 
Well, you don't want to block any fans because that's a problem. Parts wise, I'm going to use to make this amp head. I've already put the feet on it, to be honest. I'll put Amazon links. Whoops. I will put all the parts listed in the description. I've used them on loads of cabinets before, but there's some nice corner protectors. There's these rubber feet. I've used these rubber feet on, oh man, everything. Uh, an amp handle, so you can pick it up because I'm going to use this in a couple of rooms in my house and it's a spare one for the studio for whatever reason. And some corner protectors. I think I already mentioned those. Can't actually remember. How do they work? There we go. And once they're on, it looks a bit cool. So I'm going to fit those. I'll do some sexy B-roll so it looks a bit more interesting. Fit the front grille. I've already drilled the holes in the top for these, these screws that go into the top of the katana head. One final thing you're going to need to do is make sure there's a hole for... I use Telecaster jacks a lot of the time just because they're small, they're neat. I quite like the look of them. Um, on other cabs, if you check out my other cab builds, I use all sorts of things depending on what I think would look best for the job, but I just think these, I mean, if you've got a black jack on the back of here, you're not gonna notice that that's there, so it doesn't look like you've modified it. Not that I care about modifying stuff because I'm modifying it to improve it and to be more suited to what I do. It's a tool, so don't be afraid of modifying your gear. Make it do what you need it to do. And these are only like 250 quid or something. Pfft, who cares? A final thing I've put in the description, which will really, really help out is a set of these crimp terminals, I believe they're called. I've got loads of different sizes, but I did actually spend quite a lot of time sourcing a set which has all the right sizes for this project because I've got a couple of other boxes and they're all too big or it's just more of a faff. But if you buy this box, but link to it in the description, it comes with the two sizes needed to make connectors for this because because the black and red lead have different size connectors just to make your life easier. We're also gonna make a little connector, so a bit of cable that clicks onto this, clicks onto this, so you don't have to cut any cables really, well apart from the one you're gonna make to go onto this, but you don't have to butcher anything on the amp. And to fit these crimps, uh, I've got a crimping tool. I'll put a link to this in the description. I lose these all the time. I'll also put a link in the description to the 22 millimeter drill bit you need. Great. I'll also put a link in the description for the 22 millimeter drill bit you need for these Telecaster jack sockets, just in case you decide to use them, or in case you ever wanna fit them on a Telecaster, such as I've done. First thing I'm going to do is make a connector with a piece of speaker cable that goes from the two lugs of this jack socket to these two exciting pieces of cable, and it's just gonna be a bit longer because this doesn't quite reach and this black one is some microscopic size so it doesn't actually fit on so we're going to make it so it sort of steps up to a bigger terminal connector and it just all push fits on i'll fit the uh, jack socket in the rear of my unit in the hole i've made and then all it is is putting the two screws to hold the amp head up the four screws in the rear of it to stop it wobbling around fit the grill that's done i suppose then fit a handle in the corner protectors but anyone can do that after that, I will be doing the same thing on this, but just making a bit of cable that goes from these two lugs to, well, another jack socket in this Telecaster plate. It's really not a difficult mod. I've been wanting to do this for months. Right, let's do that. Now fit a jack socket to the cab, just so I can use it as a cab and plug the head into it. What I would suggest is take the head out of it, just so you've got space to run the cable, and then fit this, I'm using a Telecaster jack socket, I'm just gonna drill a hole as far over as possible. Probably at the top, because if you have one at the top and bottom, you could have the head output as one and the cab input as another one, then you can use it with a lead to use it as a combo still, or run it to another cab. I'm just gonna run one 
in for the time being. Um, obviously attach a jack socket to it. And then I've already wired this lead. With um, cables, one normally comes with a stripe. This side of the cable has a red stripe. This side doesn't, so I've put the red tag on it. That's your positive, and I've had blue as the negative. These are labeled with a plus and minus, so it's easy to know which way around they are. Just be careful what size connector they are. Just try it on the tabs before you do it. Again, I've put a link to these terminals in the description. These are all the right sizes, and they come in a selection of colors, so you can do whatever you want. And then with the other end of it, you've got to fit it to the jack socket. With a jack socket to tell which is positive and which is negative, um, make sure it's a, a mono jack socket, not a stereo. Not that it really matters, you can get pictures on the internet, but this center hole is the ground. So that'll be the blue tab, so the negative. And the bit where this tab sticks out, that's where the, the top of your guitar, I'm trying to find a guitar jack, that's where that connects. And you can see that this same piece of metal comes all the way around this plastic to this tab. So you can just you know, eye it in, put the red on there, the blue on there. Um, that's a really simple, um, this took about a minute. So drill a hole, fit this in, telecaster jack, so it needs the jack socket to go in. And then these clip on. So it takes no time at all, really easy. And I've gone with a black jack so you can't really tell. Nice, easy mod. It's finished, so just to show that it works. I already knew it worked in fairness because I, I did this about a month ago and I've been using it. I mainly use the head, it's like a, a headphone thing for my house, so when I'm in my bed or downstairs practicing with headphones on, I just take the head inside and use that. I am gonna just plug this into this two by 12 cab I made and I've never heard it through anything other than a Boss Katana speaker. So I'm gonna do that and see how that sounds. Give me a second. That sounds so much better than that one. expect that yeah it turns out cabs that aren't the standard Boscatana ones sound a lot better I might try this on a few other things like my coffee table cab I turned a coffee table into a guitar cab there's a video on that so I'll do that at some point in fact I'll do it now this is what a coffee table sounds like this is a coffee table with a speaker built into it <laughs> I don't know if I'm imagining this, but I, it just seems like every other cab that I'm trying, I've got another one inside, I think it's inside, I genuinely don't know where it is. Um, it sounds like every cab that I've made, which is every cab I have, sounds better than the standard Boscatana one. <laughs> Just going back to that Boss Katana cab, um, I don't know if it's the dimensions of it or the fact it's placed up against the wall, because it's an open back cab, it can sound different in different places within the room. Well, that's a closed back, effectively, because it's a coffee table. I've never said that before. Uh, every cab I've plugged it into, I know it's only two, they all sound better than the Boss Katana standard one. I do have another cab in the other room, so what I may do is sack off the Boss Katana cab, which is effectively the combo thing, and change that for another t uh, 1x12 cab, because I've got, well, they are Celestian speakers in all of these, and the Boss make their own ones. Oh well, this for you to decide. I may do a full video on how different cabs sound. Uh, if you're interested, let me know, leave a comment in the description, but 
with this, you, you can plug into anything or plug into nothing. So I use it as a headphone amp mostly, and you can still plug in the GAFC foot controller so I can switch between all the channels, which is cool doing it through headphones in my house or in my bedroom. Use it in here, I've got two Boss Katanas in here. Nope, one's in the house at the moment. Amps are all over the place at the moment. So, great amp, not the best sounding cab. I don't know if it's the cab or the cone, probably a combination of both, probably mostly the cone. But with this speaker output, you can plug it into anything and get brilliant sounds. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell everyone, check out my other videos. I'm so going to put a, another output on my 2x12 Boss Katana, so I'll do a shorter video on that. So let me know what parts were helpful and which parts I should miss out because this video is quite long. Thank you for watching.